Hey guys, welcome to another wonderful episode of Montana Luke. Uh, it's a beautiful day in the Big Sky Country. It's the 4th of July and we are working on polishing this concrete countertop. Uh, today I would like to do a review on these pads that I've purchased uh, from Amazon. Uh, they are the cheap set, so I think they were $12.99 for all four, five, six, seven of them. <laughs> um, and so far, I am very impressed with them. The backer pad that they came with, I immediately threw away because that thing fell apart. But if you have a hook and loop sander, like we will today, uh, they will be perfect. And I also would like to show you guys how this works uh, without having a water-fed sander. So this is uh, obviously just an electrical sander, um, and I'm going to feed water using a hose. So with that, we will get to showing you how this works. All right, guys, here is all of the material that you will need for your concrete countertop project uh, or whatever kind of concrete you're trying to polish. This is basically everything that you will need uh, to make that work. And I will go over what all of this stuff is uh, in not in too much depth, so I don't bore you to death, but uh, enough that at least, you know, if this is your first time, you will at least have the concept of what to purchase and what it will take uh, to do this project. So first things first, we have our DeWalt orbital sander. What this is, is it's basically just an orbital sander that spins around, uh, and it's a variable speed sander, so you can change how fast this thing spins around, and that's what, you know, makes all the motion to remove the material with these pads. Uh, it's a hook and loop design, so what that means is it's Velcro and these stick right to the face of it just like so um, it's not a wet sander so a lot of these sanders that people do concrete with have a hose uh, that runs up inside of the sander and feeds water out into these pads through this hole <laughs> and I uh, I don't have that tool so uh, what I've tested in the past is just using a hose to spray the concrete and achieve the same results and by hold it does it works just fine you don't need to buy the professional grade sander you can buy this awesome dewalt sander for 80 bucks uh, i purchased this at lowe's uh, it does everything that i've ever needed it to do uh, including polishing concrete so next thing that we have uh, is a series of pads again these were purchased off of amazon and they were i think it was 12.99 for the set uh, grits ranging, ranging from uh, 50 all the way to 3,000. Uh, 50 being the pad that removes the most material. So that will be good on finishing these edges that are pretty rough, bringing them down to a quick smooth finish. Uh, and then you continually move up grits all the way to 3,000 if you want to. I typically go to 800 because what that does is it gives me the nice smooth finish, but it also gives enough grit in the material that the clear coat will stick to. Sometimes if you get up to 3000, the finished coat won't stick and it'll start chipping off. And finally, we have our water source. This is uh, professional grade Montana water. Um, nothing but the best. <laughs> so if you guys want me to ship you a few bottles, let me know. Uh, you won't complain. It, uh, that's just uh, one of those secrets that are in these projects that make them better than most. Um, and finally, we have our concrete work surface, which is the reason we're here. So enough with the explaining, let's get to the work. So I've already started sanding a portion of this block just to show you guys the difference between uh, a quick wet sand with a 50 grit pad and what that will make in the outcome of the finish uh, with exposing the aggregate in the block. Um, and as you can see right here, I've used my 50 grit pad. Uh, it's exposed a fair amount of aggregate, and that literally took me probably 30 seconds to do. Um, I'll give you a quick show of what this looks like when you do it so you can see uh, what to expect and how this tool works. So as always, wet down the surface. We got our tool ready. Bring it on, set it on the surface.
and it's that easy. Uh, what I'll do next is I won't bore you guys to tears showing you how I sand this whole block. I'll wait till the very end to show you the finished project. Um, I hope this helps you guys. Please ask questions and I will follow up shortly. Okay guys, we just finished up. It's about 10 minutes later from the last time I was here with you. Um, and my finish is turning out really well. The further you go down, the more aggregate you expose, which means rocks. Uh, these pads will grind rocks flat, so it's kind of the look and the finish that you want at the end of the day. Um, when I put the clear coat on, this is about how it should look. And I'm really happy with it so far. So I hope that this video helped you guys get started on these projects. They're really easy to do. Um, don't let anybody tell you they're not. Just go ahead and get it done.